Greetings to all uh, uh, and welcome to our morning devotion. And uh, we are in a program that must remain maybe permanent in our lives and it becomes part of us, part of our DNA, our spiritual DNA. Uh, may I remind you that uh, last time we left you somewhere, I took you to a certain place and uh, I tried to leave you there. And I'm sure you are still there. The place was no other place but Calvary. Uh, that is where I left you. And today I thought uh, I will not bring you away from there. I will say certain things and again leave you there. Remember, uh, it was part one and uh, this is part two. And our part two is five steps to be set free. Five steps to be set free. And the place was Calvary. That is where uh, I left you. And uh, certain uh, things to remember. Remember, we had read a statement, a declaration by Christ that it is done. It is finished. Remember that. And uh, what was finished, we made it clear that the devil's power was finished. I want also to you to remember that on every human being, there is what we call a double claim. A double claim, but at the end of the day, there must be one claim on your life. There is, of course, the divine claim of your life, and I'll put some notes to that. And uh, there's also the devil's claim on your life. Whenever you appear on this planet, you are born by your mother and your father. Uh, the devil put a sticker on your life that you belong to him. And uh, yet Christ also put a sticker that, no, 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 not that one. He or she belongs to me. But there is a place, there is a part uh, for you, a, a form that you must feel that uh, will show where you really belong. So the Christ will put his card on you, the devil will put his card on you. You must pick the card that uh, then the uh, clearly defines where do you belong. And uh, today we want to go through that form which you must feel and then it will be clear to the whole cosmos, to the whole universe, where do you belong? And therefore, where is the rights to your life? And uh, 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 today I, I, I kind of teaching more than preaching and uh, to those who are not interested in teachings, I'm very sorry. But to me, today is a more serious business that, than any other that I can do. So by that statement, Christ declared the war. He declared the war. Actually, uh, what that meant was... Uh, uh, the devil's claim on anyone is anyone's choice. That is what it meant by that statement. It is finished. I finished with him. I've shown him the, the red card. I've shown him the, the, the way to go. I've shown him his place. If he is found anywhere or in anyone, it is because of that person's choice. But remember the devil also uh, uh, masquerades or, or, or enjoys your ignorance also. You, you also need to know that he enjoys your ignorance and uh, by your ignorance, when you don't know what to do, when you don't know uh, 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 what Christ can do for you and has done for you, you live in, the, in that ignorance and you'll be bound and you'll be uh, captive for the rest of your life. So you, you need to know that. I also need to make this announcement that uh, by that statement, uh, uh, 
Christ declared that uh, whoever wills, whoever wills that the devil live his or her life can claim, uh, can claim that right and the devil will never argue or contest, never. Uh, uh, so it is those who are willing to be set free who will do the five steps that we are going to give you that will be easily set free. Set free. You, you'll notice that uh, in the Bible, that's the one thing that uh, whose answer when you pray, he has no three possibilities, just one possibility. You know the three possibilities? Yes, no, wait. Those are the three possibilities. I think you are aware of that. Uh, but on this one, when you have been attacked by a demon or an unclean spirit or whatever, there's one answer. And the answer is yes. That answer is clear from God. It's a yes. When anyone, anyone, even from the jungles of spiritualism, you come or you meet a pastor, an elder, or anyone to pray for you, the answer is a yes. I, I'm afraid to tell you that some saints are afraid even of praying for demons. That one is a given answer. It's there. Uh, uh, the devil knows. When you say, in the name of Jesus, Satan, come out of sorrow and soul, my brother, my sister, my friend, my what? The devil knows that when that prayer is given, I have to go. It's given. So you need to know that. Okay, now let's see, uh, 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 remind you that there are two claims uh, and a form that you need to feel. The, uh, uh, the devil is claiming, Christ is claiming, but there's a form that you need to feel. And uh, let's begin on the form. Now, the, I need to make a statement first. Uh, and the statement is given by Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound. Uh, put in its, its simplest way, uh, the, 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 the spirit of the Lord is upon me to set the captives free. And the, 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 that, that must be known. The Holy Spirit came down on this planet. One of his serious mission is to set the captives free. Let's leave that one. That, that, that's, that's your takeoff uh, uh, statement that you need to underline. Now let's come to the book of Hebrews. Step number one. Step number one when you want to be set free hebrews chapter 11 verse number six common as it is but it is a step here and here is what it says but without faith it is impossible to please him for he who comes to god must believe that is the the word that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him so there are two things there. You must believe that he is, that God exists, that Christ exists, that the Holy Spirit exists, that the word of God is truth and it is power to those who believe in it. You must believe that God is the creator of this universe. You must believe that God sent Jesus as your personal savior and that Jesus is not a mere human being but he's God incarnate in us. That must be believed. So uh, uh, that statement is saying, is telling you, is telling you that don't compare Jesus with the devil. They are not at par. They are not peers. No, uh, there, there, there is the, a, an eternal difference between them, an eternal gulf between them, and therefore an eternal power of difference between them, uh, that, that must be known. Therefore, it doesn't matter how many millions of demons are upon you, still they cannot be compared with the creator. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, so that must be clear to anyone who wills to be set free. That, let that be clear. Let it be clear that I've come to one who is no other and who can be no other but the one, 
statement number two. Step number two, you must accept who you are and at what level you are. You must accept who you are and at what level you are. You must accept you are a sinner. Accept you are a sinner. You must accept you are weak spiritually. You must accept uh, uh, that uh, 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 certain things may have been done on you, whether you knew it or you don't know. You must accept that uh, uh, you, 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 you no longer, uh, uh, you must pronounce that you no longer want the devil in your life. Let it be pronounced. Remember what Paul said, he said, by heart people believe and are justified by the, the, when they confess with their mouth, they are redeemed, they are saved. So you must pronounce, you no longer want the devil. Let Satan hear it, he must hear it, that this one, he no longer like, love me, he no longer need me, he no longer like me, I, I'm not wanted here. Uh, and that you want Christ, not want Christ, but you love Christ. Uh, that is step number two. So it is to accept, uh, don't go to, to, to God, a righteous person, and present yourself as a holy one. No, 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 no. You are not holy. You are a sinner. Uh, so present that. Let it be clear. I am a sinner. I, I, I have no power. Uh, 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 I'm under difficult possessions, and uh, I'm a captive. But uh, I no longer want the devil in my life or in my child or in my husband. Uh, I, I want him or I want myself to be set free. And the only one who can set me free is you all, my Lord and my savior, Jesus Christ, whom I love and the will to you I come. That is step number two. Step number three, Hebrews chapter nine. Uh, let's go to Hebrews chapter nine. And uh, there are certain things that uh, also must be made clear there. Hebrews chapter 9, verse number 22, is a statement to make. Chapter 9, verse 22, it is a statement to make. And let's listen to the statement. And according to the law, almost all things are purified with blood. And without shedding of blood, there is no remission. Let it be known that in all things, all things, they are purified with the blood. And without shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. So uh, uh, that is step number three. There is a need for blood. For you to come out of that situation, there is need of blood. Without blood, you'll never be set free. Let that be clear. But what kind of blood? What kind of blood? Uh, I'll read for you chapter 10, Hebrews, verse number four. For it is not possible that the blood of bulls and the gods could take away sins. It's not possible. It's not possible that the blood of bulls and the gods or whatever blood, uh, 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 any animal blood as it were, uh, 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 bird's blood as it were, or whatever, uh, no, that one cannot. It's not possible, it's impossible that it can take away sin. It can take away the conditions that are embedded in you. No. Uh, so obviously, we are still on the same point. There is need for blood. Where do you get that blood? Not the blood of bulls, not the blood of gods, uh, not the blood of birds, not the blood of... No, that one will never take away sin. But my blood, my brother... And my sister, there is need for blood. And where will you get that blood? Uh, I have a, a, a good announcement to make. Hebrews chapter 9, verse number 11 and 12, verse number 11 and 12. Here is what it says. But Christ came as high priest of the good things to come with the greater and the more perfect tabernacle, not made with the hands, that is not of this creation. Verse number 12 not with the blood of gods and the calves, praise God, but with his own blood, he entered the most holy place once for all, having obtained eternal redemption. Here it is. 
deities. He, someone come, came with the blood. Yes, there's someone with his own blood. And that someone is not your brother, is not your uncle, is not an animal from your crop, uh, 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 not even a bird from your cage. No, but Christ came as a high priest. That's a point to take note of. In other words, he can go and plead and make that claim for you uh, 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 and make that claim for you. And uh, he does not make that claim for you using your, 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 your little, little dollars or cents or runs. No, 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 no. He will make that claim using his own blood and not the blood of bulls, of gods, of lambs, or of whatever. No, but by his own blood. And no one, come on, no one can contest the blood of Jesus. No one, not on this planet, not in heaven, not anywhere, not in another world. No one can contest the, the, the efficacy, the ability, the sufficiency of Christ's blood. Remember, there are two words, Greek words, Greek words that are, 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 are suspended on Christ's blood. On, uh, uh, and the word are lutrosis and apolutrosis. Lutrosis simply means redemption. Uh, that is what it will mean. It will simply mean paying a price. Yes, paying a price. That is what that in, uh, word will indicate, freeing or releasing by paying a ransom, paying a price. And apolutrosis is the act of buying uh, uh, someone something by paying a price. So uh, uh, the first one is you, 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 you are releasing, you are setting free uh, by paying a price. There are many people who, who, who were set free, but they never belonged to Christ. <laughs> I'm sorry to say that. There are many people who were set free, but they never belonged to Christ. Yes, I know. Uh, you, you came possessed, and maybe you were possessed, and your parents brought you to a pastor or to an elder, and they prayed for you, and you were set free, and you went away, and never went to church, and never believed in Jesus, but you were set free. You used Christ's blood for that. That is lutrosis. There is need for lutrosis and apolutrosis. You need to be set free and ready to be bought by Christ so that you belong to Christ. Remember what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 12, verse 43 through 45. He said a demon can come out, but it will look for places to uh, abide and fail to find one. And uh, uh, as soon as it fails, it will come back. So when he comes back and find that you still do not belong to Christ, he will invite his brothers there. He will invite the higher ranks and uh, the, the worst of you will be worse than the beginning of you. So I'm saying here, our point number three is there's a need for blood and that blood will set you free. When it sets you free, the same blood, if you believe that Jesus is now your Lord and Savior, it will uh, 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 purchase you, it will buy you so that you belong to Jesus Christ as the Lord's daughter or son. Point number four. Point number four, uh, and take note of this one, that is John chapter 14, John 14, verse 23. John 14, verse 23. Jesus answered and said to him, if anyone loves me, he will keep my word and my father will love him. And take note of that. We will come to him and make our home with him. If anyone loves Jesus, obeys his word and uh, will live and abide in his word, Jesus, the father, the Holy Spirit, they will come, the whole body, they will come into you, into your life, and they make it their home in you. Obviously, trespassers will be prosecuted. Anyone who will not belong to them will be prosecuted. So the devil will know, here, yeah, I'm no longer wanted. They are new, uh, 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 I mean, homeowners here, we have come here, 
I'll have to go away permanently, permanently, not temporarily. So that's step number uh, four. You have to invite uh, uh, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit to come into you. And the, the easiest way of inviting them is to love Jesus Christ, to believe in him, and to love his word, and to abide in his word. Uh, step number five. Step number five, uh, Matthew chapter 11, uh, verse 28 uh, down the, to 30. Come unto me, all ye that labor, and I'll give you rest. In other words, surrender all to Christ. Surrender all to Christ. That is it. And leave the rest with him. And leave the rest with him. Allow him to rule and to reign in your life. And when you are done with that, uh, those are the five steps. Uh, may I also say before even I end over that uh, this is also the recipe. Uh, uh, when you are praying for someone with a demon, demon or who is possessed or who is in a condition, whatever it is, that you suspect to be uh, 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 of spiritualism or whatever, uh, uh, these are the steps. Just read those verses. Uh, don't worry about interpreting them to God. You are in a prayer. Uh, just read them. Hebrews chapter 11, verse number 6. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 22. Chapter, uh, verse 12. And uh, John 14, verse 23. Matthew 11. And then you pray. Claiming all the promises. Because each of those uh, uh, verses are nothing but a promise. And that is the form that all of you must uh, complete. When you complete that form, you complete it in prayer. Uh, you read those verses, you pray, claiming the promises. You have completed the form. You, you, you surrender that form to Jesus. And when you surrender that form to Jesus, uh, and then the, the, Jesus knows you have made your vote, you've cast, you picked your, you've picked up your card, and that card is no one but Christ Jesus. And the devil you, you will know exhumed here. May God bless you. Thank you. Please pray for us, Mfundis. Shall we pray our kind and loving Father? Here we are in your presence. We are in your presence to know that uh, at the cross, a declaration was made. That declaration was, the devil is no more place in us. But we have to feel our part, we have to take our part to explain, to pronounce whom do we vote. And Lord, we are here to pronounce unashamedly and apologetically that we are cho your children. You are, we are your children by creation and by redemption. And that Jesus is our savior who spilled his blood. And that blood was responsible for redeeming us, for setting us free, and for buying us to be your children. This, Lord, we affirm and confirm and praise and thank you and honor you and adore you and Lord, for this, we bow and claim that blood upon our lives. That, Lord, set us free with it, of it, and by it. Lord, that uh, we invite you to be in our lives from now henceforth. That will belong to you. May it be known by those around us that we no longer want any traces of the devil's activities in our lives, that he must come out of us, never to return. And he must tell you that he has gone out and he will never come back again. And that Lord declare in his hearing that we are your children, that you have the rightful claim by creation and by redemption, by your blood, that we are your children, and you have the right to put your throne in our lives. That God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit have their eternal place uh, in our lives. That his home is within us. 
that we are no longer, but Christ is. Uh, thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer. Thank you, Lord, for willing to set us free. Thank you, Lord, for enjoying us as your children from now henceforth. May they, if they be someone here, Lord, who is in this prayer and he has been suffering, and Lord, may you set him or her free. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.